Hello everyone, welcome back. Got my crock pot out today. I'm gonna to show you how to make slow cooked buttery garlic steak bites and potatoes. So y'all come on over here. Let's talk about the steak. Now this is what my husband picked up from the store. Now whatever steak you like to grill out or cook, you wanna make sure that you cut it into bite sized pieces. Now my husband came home from the store with these two top sirloin steaks. It's a total of three pounds. So I'm just gonna take it out of the package and we're gonna put it on a cutting board. Now this recipe generally calls for two pounds up to three pounds of steak. So what we're gonna do is trim off any excess fat that you don't want people to be biting into. So just along the edges, I'm just gonna take off that. We're not gonna let my husband see that happen. <laughs> he would cry. He said, that's flavor. It is flavor, but this is steak bites. And we're gonna take that off. So Y'all let me know down below what steak you wanna use for your steak bites. That looks good. So what we're gonna do is just cut this into bite-sized pieces. Oh yes, this steak will cook so tender in the crock pot. All right, that's good. Yes, just like that. Keep them all the same size. That way it cooks evenly in there. Make sure you're using a good sharp knife. Just make sure you're trimming it as you go. You can certainly use stew meats if you wanna do that also. I would just cut it down into smaller bite-sized pieces. So depending on what steak you use is depending on the time that it cooks in the crock pot but you definitely want to cook it until it is so tender that it just falls apart. All right, as soon as I get the steak all cut up, I'm gonna bring it back so we can get these flavored up. Okay, once you've gotten your steak all chopped up, we're gonna go ahead and season it well. We've got salt, just sprinkle it right across the top, black pepper, Give it flavor, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and then for more added flavor, I have a hamburger seasoning that you can pick up as a seasoning or you can do your favorite steak seasoning. I'm just gonna put that over the top. Shake it on. I'm just gonna toss these around, get them nice and coated on all sides. Oh, it smells good with those seasonings in there. Mm. Okay, what we're gonna do now is spray the inside of our crock pot with some nonstick cooking spray. All right, the trick to this is to put your steak on one side of the crock pot. We've still got more flavor happening. Make sure you stay tuned to get all the techniques for this one. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna chop up two yellow onions. We're just gonna take the ends off. Outer layer. Cut it in half. We're just gonna make some rough chops because these will melt and you wanna be able to see your onion because they're gonna have nice flavor. I love grilled onion with steaks and hamburgers, so we're gonna put it in the crock pot, let it do its thing, just like that. All right, we're gonna do one more. Because we got lots of steak in there. And people love onion, caramelized down, full of that flavor. All right, we're gonna put this into the bottom of the crock pot next to the steak. Get 
load them in. All right, we're going to start adding in our potatoes. Now I am using Yukon Gold Baby Potatoes. Now I've already scrubbed these off. I'm going to leave these whole. That way they hold their shape. So you can use other potatoes, but I would cut them pretty big. But if you're using like russet potatoes, you're going to have to cut those down really small in order to finish cooking with the steak. But these are true to form. They get really soft and really mellow on the inside. They hold their texture and their shape. So let's go ahead and add these to the crock pot. Now I'm just pushing them in. These are one and a half pounds right here that I'm using. There we go. Whew. I'm going to bring back over my seasonings and we're going to season the potatoes and the onion section right here, right on the top. The seasonings are going to melt right into the potatoes and the onions. We've got salt, black pepper, just go across the top. We've got garlic powder, the same seasonings that we put on the steak. Um, onion powder, smoked paprika, and our hamburger seasoning blend. Or you can use like a steak seasoning blend, whatever you like. Or you don't even have to do that. You can just leave it just like that. Get it on in there. Woo, I love this stuff right here. Yum. All right, let's move these out of the way. Buttery garlic, that's what we're doing with our steak. So I'm going to be putting some garlic, about two tablespoons, all over the steak and the potatoes. It'll melt on in. There we go. Mm. Yep, just kind of evenly disperse it. A little bit of the oils from the garlic. One stick of butter, which is half a cup. I'm going to cut this into pats. This is going to help get all those flavors merging together, melting together, making everything nice and mellow. Yep, just keep going. Can we get all the butter on there? All right, let's add this to the crock pot. And just put the pats all around. It's definitely going to give us our buttery garlic flavor to the steak bites. Let's see, where do I need it? Do, 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 where do we want more butter? All right, we'll put it right there. There we go. We're going to place a lid on. Now we're going to cook this on high for four to six hours and we're going to check our steak. You want it being nice and tender and you want those potatoes to be nice and tender. So you want everything to just fall apart with a fork. Now, the four to six hours, that's a big time frame difference there, and that's because it depends on the type of steak or meat that you are using for this recipe. So if it's a tougher meat, it might take longer to break down. Now, if you've got little tiny pieces in there, then it may take sooner. I would just give it a check and see where you stand. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we have it. These potatoes are so creamy on the inside and very soft, but they hold their shape because they still got the skin on them. The steak, it is buttery, it is garlicky, and it's got full of flavor. It's delicious and it's very tender. Now we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna serve this up with my homemade Southern style green bean recipe that's in my first cookbook, making home cooking simple, easy, and delicious. Look at those beans. Mm, my husband is so happy for these. Let's plate this up and I'm gonna give it a try. All right, I'm gonna go in for my bite. That creamy potato, piece of the steak. 
Here's my bite. Mm. Don't forget to get some of that buttery garlic sauce on the bottom. Pour some on top. That'll be delicious. Although this is delicious as it is. All right, y'all, let me know what you think of my slow-cooked buttery garlic steak bites and potatoes. Pair those with some green beans from my cookbook. All right, <laughs> this bowl is fixing to disappear here in a minute. Y'all give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification that way. You'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Oh, it smells so good. I'll see y'all on the next episode.